The rain subsided as evening rolled around last Thursday. I grabbed a bunch of cameras and jumped on the new I-4 express lane, headed downtown in search of photographic bliss. In tow were the GoPro, my Fuji X-Pro3 with its 23mm APS-C Prime and my little Sony RX100 Mark 7. Why all the gear? I don't really know, but I do know having it makes me happy. It's not really the gear itself, more of an appreciation of the technical and artistic achievements it represents, I suppose. And of course, there's the tinker factor. I love just playing with gadgetry. As I retrace familiar territory, looking for a different angle, another perspective, different light, different detail, I started to get into that zone. I call it relaxed awareness. Doesn't always happen to relaxed awareness, but when it does, good photo opportunities seem to be everywhere. Maybe it's not the photo that makes me happy, rather the state of mind the process affords me. Dunno, but I'm gonna run with it for the next few minutes. I had my Fuji and my GoPro on a little bracket with the idea of documenting my shots along the way. The little Sony was tucked away in my windbreaker pocket. As I walked around, I noticed I was gravitating to the little Sony pulling it out of my pocket over and over and started to kind of laugh at myself for it. I guess the thought of composing for the GoPro and for the Fuji was killing my relaxed awareness buzz. So I forgave myself and embraced the spontaneity of the little camera. Here's what I got with it. As is usually the case, I wasn't prepared for my first opportunity. This one was underexposed by almost four stops, but at least it was a raw file and it allowed me to salvage it via Lightroom. I love the word bird on the scooter, as if to say the rider is a cardinal in flight. Technical wizardry saved the day on this one with the camera steady shot doing its thing at 168 millimeter equivalent and Lightroom doing what Lightroom does with gain, noise reduction, and all the rest. I love tinkering, as I said, and this was a great opportunity to tinker and do something useful. For this one, I tried one quarter second handheld, counting on steady shot on the little Sony. Thought I'd try to remove blues and purples in Lightroom to simplify the colors. Not one of my best, but wanted to share the notion of a simplified color palette. The little alleyways around Church Street seem to hold a bit of magic sometimes. The stains on the walkway drew my interest on this one. Kinda looks like a guy in a coat and tie echoed toward the young man walking in the shadow. I pulled down the saturation on the yellows, greens, and aquas in another attempt to simplify the color palette, removing the distraction of the tinged walls and highlighting the remaining colors. Kind of negative color space, if that makes any sense. I really like the composition too, especially the gate in the lower right, becoming sort of a pointer into the scene. The young man in the shadows emerged and was happy to give me this mug. I kept with a simple color theme. Don't know if it helps or hurt on this one. It might be overdone, but I kind of like it. This staircase at Church Street just begs to be photographed, so I indulged it with several shots. This one is another long shutter at one half second, blurring the figure near the truck, and giving the shot a bit of a creamy look. The purplish, smoky sky helped bring out the artificial lighting in the plaza, which I think is a nice architectural element. The lighting is more evident in this one. Another long exposure at 1 13th, blurring the lone figure as he traverses the plaza. The dark pavers really frame this one, and in hindsight, an angle that gave them more credence might have been better. Mental note taken. Here's the almost obligatory black and white with the light and shadow painting the staircase, somehow saying the climb is worth it. Okay, one more just because. If it could talk, I think it would say, please climb me. Well, I did and found this shot through the window of perhaps a juice or a lunch bar up on the second level. I really love the geometry of this one 
and the bright yellow bar chair against its rich wooden companions. No adjustments were needed to get this simple color palette. The room and the counter were white, and the lit palm tree and tail lights in the background did their job affirming the two-color feel provided by the chairs. This photo literally makes me happy for some reason. Color psychology? Oh boy, another rabbit hole to explore, I suppose. This one started out as a total fail as I desperately tried to capture this young lady as she crossed the street from the opposite corner. But then, as she approached, I asked her if it was okay that I took her photo. She said yes, and she gave me a big smile. This is the result. Couldn't resist the black and white treatment. I love the light in the background, giving just enough separation to make her stand out. Steady shot really saved the day as this was 1 25th at 63 millimeter equivalent. I went for that high key look in Lightroom and I really liked the result. This one is one of my favorite street portraits. This shot of the commuter rail landing, hence the name Church Street Station, made my evening. I call it, the lights are on, but nobody's home. I made it black and white, but there wasn't much color there to begin with. Kind of a sterile, but somehow inviting scene. I really love the strip lights on the overhang, drawing you down the tracks, offset by the matching stairways, suggesting a different kind of travel and different destinations that could be shrouded in the secrecy of a windowless building or beckoning with the openness and brilliance depicted by its high-rise neighbor. The absence of a train and the absence of a crowd suggest this is from another time, but neither past nor future. Yep, this one makes me happy too. I couldn't resist one last shot of the alley while headed back to the car. Another experiment with negative color space, pulling out orange, yellow, aqua, blue, and magenta, and leaving white, red, green, and purple. And finally, my favorite alleyway staircase. This one is all about the color and how the foreground red and orange were countered by the grays, green, and purple of the saucer-shaped rooftops in the background. No tinkering with negative color space on this one, just a few minor tweaks. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little essay and that it maybe provided some inspiration for you to pick up that camera and go exploring. See you on the next one. Bye for now.